All right, so WUSA 9 is committed to covering stories about the environment that impacts our lives. And tonight, the issue that we're exploring is enjoying the outdoors safely. So we're all spending a lot of time outside, and people may forget that you really need sunscreen yeah. all year round. It's mandatory for any outing, but a new report from the Environmental Working Group claims a shocking number of these sun protection products don't meet basic standards, or at least that group's standards, for safety and effectiveness. So here's Scott Broom with our Environment Matters report. The Environmental Working Group, or EWG, reports that all sunscreens are not the same. Some of them have potentially worrisome chemicals for human health that may also contaminate some sensitive environments like coral reefs. And EWG says many claims about SPF, or sun protection factor, are not necessarily the best measure of protection. The Environmental Working Group's 2024 Guide to Sunscreens report tested 1,700 sunscreen products and found that only 25% meet EWG standards for safety and effectiveness. Emily Spillman speaks for the Environmental Working Group. Only two ingredients reviewed by the FDA have been classified as safe and effective, and those are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, both mineral sunscreen ingredients. There are 12 other ingredients that are approved for use in the U.S., but after FDA is reviewed, could not be classified as safe and effective due to insufficient safety data. Spillman says concerns include evidence of allergic reactions and hormone disruption in people and the environment. And EWG warns consumers that SPF ratings can be inadequate too. There are two kinds of UV radiation, A and B. SPF doesn't necessarily address both of them. Is that accurate? That is correct. So what are we supposed to do? Here are some top tips according to the report's authors. Look for mineral-based ingredients which are not linked to toxicity concerns. Those are zinc oxide and titanium oxide. Avoid spray-on sunscreens, which frequently include worrisome chemical ingredients. Make sure the sunscreen blocks both UVA and UVB radiation and Use an SPF range of 30 to 50. Higher ratings are generally not any more effective, according to EWG. Now, the sunscreen industry is represented by the Personal Care Products Council, which says the EWG report, quote, misleads consumers into assuming sunscreen products are unsafe, thereby jeopardizing public health. But the industry council joins EWG in calling on the Food and Drug Administration to modernize its standards and consider new ingredients. The FDA has not approved new UV filters since 1999. Additionally, globally approved filters used in Europe and other regions are not available in the U.S., greatly limiting options for American consumers. For Environment Matters, I'm Scott Broom, WUSA 9.